Hello everyone, this is Rohit Manoran and welcome back to the Checkpoint Lab Training. For this video, we'll be discussing about policy rule based on zones. Okay, so let's quickly discuss about zones. Just a little bit theory. We will jump into lab as soon as possible. So what are zones? I will quickly uh, discuss it. Okay, so you are familiar with our topology, which was this. And consider a firewall Ethernet interface as inside zone. And about inside zone, it's the most, or you can say more secure one. I will uh, take back the most secure one because there have been attacks out there where the attacks has been initiated from inside zone. But it's a more secure one, not completely secure. It's a more secure one. And for demonstration purpose, I will create a Ethernet tool. Just for this, uh, just for explaining, I have, uh, I have no idea. I will not create it in uh, real firewall. So, just for demonstration, so consider it as a host, host, and I will describe it as DMZ zone. So, DMZ zone about DMZ zone, it's more secure than outside, and it's less secure than inside. So, if I am giving it a order, so it will be hundred, and you can say it is fifty percent secure. It's hundred percent secure. Hundred percent, I will say that, but it's not more secure. Okay, and Ethernet one, being the outside network, it's the least secure because Ethernet one is connected to internet, and internet is a vulnerable place because many hackers are there, so it will be the most vulnerable port. As checkpoint, being the stateful firewall, if a uh, inside pc or if an inside host try to communicate to the outside world okay try to communicate with the outside world so this traffic will be allowed by our firewall because it's flowing from inside to outside so means my trusted network to untrusted network it will allow that but if uh, if and it will also uh, accept the return traffic also okay but if you initiate the traffic from outside network, if this PC is trying to communicate to this Ethernet one, and, and forget about this firewall, okay? So if PC two is trying to communicate, because it's an internet, right? So if PC two is trying to communicate to Ethernet one and connect it to PC uh, PC one, it will not allow it because the initiator of this uh, traffic was from outside. So it will not allow. It will only allow from inside to outside. Okay. So that's uh, means from more secure area to less secure area. So that's the theory about uh, and DMC can also access if the traffic is because as I told it's 50 and you can say it's 100 or and outside being the zero. So 50 can go to zero. It's like a firewall method means a uh, firewall not. It's a waterfall method. Being in the top height, you can go to the lower bottom, but you can't go up. That's my kind of uh, technique to remember this, okay? So if there is a firewall, if the height is 100, you can go down to zero, right? And if you are in between, you are 50, you can go down, but zero can't go up. There is a condition where zero can go. There is a condition where this, uh, this PC can communicate if you place an ACL. Okay, we will discuss it later. This is not needed in this lecture or this video. Okay, so let me clear this out. So I will tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, so I will be creating, I will be specifying our Ethernet 0 as inside and Ethernet 1 as outside. And for this lab, I will be try. I will create a security policy uh, based on zones that uh, source will be inside, destination will be outside. Okay, and I will accept traffic. Means traffic will be HTTP, HTTPS, DNS, and SSH. So DNS is not needed. So SSH and the action of this traffic will be accept, accept the traffic. 
if it's from Ethernet 0 to Ethernet 1, except that. So I will create this policy in a firewall. So firstly, a plan is to first specify each and every interface to the security zone. So I will uh, I will attach Ethernet 0 as inside zone and Ethernet 1 as outside. So not attach, I will specify. Okay. So let's jump into a uh, Windows PC. I have changed this Windows PC to Windows 10 so that uh, Windows PC to Windows 10. Okay, so it was previously Windows 7. That's why uh, it was a little bit slower. That's why I changed it to Windows 10. Now, and nothing has been changed. So I've just uh, reinstalled it with, with Windows 10. So the topology isn't changed. So let's jump into a Windows PC and do the uh, just perform this lab. Yeah, but for that, I will pause this video and directly show you my Windows screen. Yeah, as you can see, we are in a Windows machine and to confirm it, I will go here and type CMD. Yeah, and I will show you the IP is same. IP config. Oh, sorry, I didn't click it. Okay, IP config. Hit enter. Yeah, our IP is 120 and our mask is 24 and our gateway is a BF firewall. Okay, so let's jump into the lab. Okay, so I will. I have already logged into a smart console, and these are devices. So I will be specifying interfaces on firewall one. So I, I let me minimize this and show you the topology again. Yeah. So I will be specifying interface. I will be specifying Ethernet interface as inside, E one as outside. Okay, so to do that, I will. I have to jump into my Windows. Yeah, and let me clear this and make it full screen. Yeah. So what you have to do is simply double click the SG1. SG1 is my firewall one, security gateway one. I will double click it and it will open up the edit. Okay. So what I have to do is click on network management, and inside that network management, I will get the interfaces. And currently, there are no interfaces. To get the interfaces, it's very easy. You have to click on Get Interface. And Get Interface with topology or without topology, it doesn't matter. So I will accept it. There are two interfaces Ethernet 0 as 192.168.1.111 and Ethernet 1 as 63.80111. Okay. So what you have to do is simply click on it. And as you can see, currently we have no security. That's why it's showing security zone is none. What you have to do is simply click on modify and you have to check mark this one. Specify security zone. You have to specify one security. Okay, so I will specify one security zone and there are a couple of zones. So I, I will try to create my own by clicking on new. And that it will pop a window where I have to specify a zone name. So I will name it inside and I will click on OK. Okay, sorry. OK. And the object is created and our zone is being specified. And I will click on OK. OK. Yeah. Great. Now, what you have to do is go to Ethernet 1. And I will specify this zone. As you can see, it's uh, none of security zone is none, which means there is no security zone right now. Click on modify, go to security zone, under security zone, check mark this, specify security zone. Click on this. You can mention there are zones. So I will, uh, there is no outside zone. That, that's why I'm creating a new object. But there is an external zone. You can use it. So I will create a new object called outside. I will click OK. OK. And finally, again OK. OK. So our interfaces has been assigned with a zone. So what you have to do next is jump to security policy. And we have a policy. We have some policy. We have to add an extra policy. OK. We have to add an extra policy. So I will add it above it. 
so i will right click it or you can simply click on this icon it will uh, do the same thing so i will right click it and above i will create it above one policy so the default fields will be there and i have to modify it so what i will do is i will make it in to out yeah okay out be not out okay great and i will specify source as inside so if i click on this it is loading yeah so recently used objects are there so i will specify it as inside okay great and i will specify destination as outside as we discussed okay now what you have to do is simply go and select the application services and applications which you are going to access to this port so i will specify ssh same as we have done ssh and click on this small plus which will add it http i will add both the http and https http https and you can mention icmp dns whatever you want so currently i don't want any of that so i will just leave it okay uh, close it and the action i have to make uh, the action as accept action as accept and let us treat uh, let us keep a log of it okay great um, yeah so our inside the outside is there but it will not work because there is one uh, one rule because we are management pc right so we are trying to access so i will disable this rule so to disable it's very easy you have to just right click and go for disable and check mark this and it's disabled and if i publish this route it will be disabled and this will come into picture yeah so i am going to publish that i made this changes at this time and etc i will not add a description but in corporate environment adding a description is better if you are not only the firewall administrator okay so the next thing you have to do is install this policy yeah so you have to click on install policy it will show you the both the firewall but i have to only uh, do it on firewall 1 so firewall 2 is not needed you can implement it in firewall 2 which will do nothing because i didn't specify any thing means specify any zones in firewall 2 but uh, to make it quicker that's why i remove firewall 2 okay sg2 i will click on install and then it will install the policy and if we are still if we are still logged in okay i have not yet accessed it okay it's failed so let's check why it failed okay the session has been on okay let's check uh, let's troubleshoot this thing so it was nothing uh, it was actually i misplaced the interface i just switched the interface that's why sg1 was not communicating i just uh, make um, i just switched it back and it's fine now so we mentioned about uh, i actually changed the interfaces and now i think everything will be fixed and i installed the policy okay so what you have to do is simply go for https and if i am able to access for the for the it is messed it up yeah https colon back back Sixty-three dot eight dot zero dot four. If I messed it up, I guess I will be uh, I will be uh, not be able to connect this is firewall two. So if I hit enter, let's see if we can do certificate error. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, the IP is one one two. I just forgot the IP. It's not four. It's one one two. And let's see if we get a certificate or not. Yeah, 
we got our certificate error and if we go to details we go on to the web page we are in our second firewall which is in outside network so we are successful implementing the zones okay so i basically did was i switched the interface i'll just show you what i did let me minimize this i actually uh, made this full setup in e exercise so that's why it got messed up yeah so what i did was i just switched these two interfaces sorry switch these two interfaces it was like this these two interfaces were switched that's why it was not able to push the configuration and it eventually got error that's why i have figured it out i went to my exercise server and fixed that okay i can't show you exercise server that's why i'm not showing you okay so that that was it i did that thing and it was fixed and as you can see i can communicate 63.8.0.112 which is in outside network of a firewall one okay so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video bye bye